Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? It's Casaloma Stables behind me. And today we're just exploring Casaloma Castle. You know, this is Spanish world. And so, guys, this is my health workout on live channel. Well, this is my weekend vlog, and I want to show you Casaloma in this uh, particular short video. The price for tickets to go inside of Casaloma uh, maybe uh, could be a little bit expensive for you. It's maybe like $40 for adults and it should maybe cost for you, for your family, maybe like $100 or even more. But maybe it's wor it worth it if you if kind of interested about some film production, maybe you just fun about X-Men movies, uh, kind of like that. And maybe you, sh you should go inside. Maybe next time I will show you this one, but not today, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. So guys, this park where I'm just staying here, it's like, it's, it's next to the Casaloma and this is Casaloma stable. Mm, as, you, as you can see, it's Casaloma stable. So uh, guys, today we just, I'm not going to explore maybe Casaloma inside, interior, and I just want to see exterior side and with my family, we just, on my weekend, we're just going around here and we just uh, want to explore this is neighborhood. It's so cool place to live, maybe because it's 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 uh, amazing buildings here and amazing neighborhood. And maybe people so lucky to live here to live here. Casa Loma in Spanish for hill house, either Gothic revival castle style mansion and garden in midtown Toronto, Ontario. That is now a historic house, museum, and landmark. In 1903, financier Henry Pellet purchased 25 lots from developer Scotland and Rolf. 
pilot commissioned architect A.J. Lennox uh, to design Casa Loma with uh, construction beginning in 1911. Starting with a massive stable sporting shed in Hunting Ledge, a few hundred feet north of the main building. The house cost about, oh my gosh, 3.5 million and took 299 workers three years to build. Due to the start of uh, World War I, construction was halted. Can you imagine, guys, at 98 rooms covering uh, 46,700 square feet, it's around uh, 6,000 uh, square meters and it was the largest private residence in Canada. Notable amenities included elevator and all large enough to cook an ox, two vertical passages for pipe organs, a central vacuum, two secret passages in pallets, uh, ground floor office, a pool and three boring clients in the basement. Uh, the last two, by the way, were never completed. The city sized Casa Loma in 1924 for unpaid taxes and for years the building was left vacant. Meanwhile, from 1997 until 2012, the mansion underwent a 15-year, 33 million exterior restoration largely funded by the city. So, guys, why is this place so popular to visit? It's uh, just because of Casa Loma is the popular location for use in film and television. If you didn't know, it has served as a location for movies such as X-Men, uh, Strange Brew, Chicago, Titans, etc. It was also temporarily transformed into Hogwarts for the release of uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows as well as Disney's live-action Beauty and the Beast remake. And a bunch more movies were created here. And it's such, such a good place to visit with your family, maybe with your friends. But maybe you should buy, maybe you should buy some tickets to go inside. Two souls colliding. We shared the pieces of ourselves, it's perfect timing now We fueled the flames, but we're still learning to trust, learning to trust It's never enough, never enough, burning me up, burning me up Hey friends, today is a uh, pretty foggy day and uh, actually uh, this kind of weather even better to explore Casa Loma, exterior Casa Loma, because it's like mysterious looking uh, buildings, uh, this castle and Actually, it's so cool. Okay, guys. What a beautiful place behind me. So we just visited uh, a, a and W, and this is place. Actually, it's a good one if you want to try some burgers, some French fries here. Maybe it's a, it, it it would be maybe a good one for you. So I'm just for the first time tried poutine here, and it cost like maybe six dollars. And as long as it cost me six six dollars, it's pretty good because. I know it's like I'm I'm not, I'm can I cannot compare right now maybe Putin with another one, but uh, this is price actually so low. Average price in Toronto for Putin is around twelve. Mm, it's around twelve dollars. So you can say me in the comments section below that oh it's awful you just tried Putin and AWA. I would say you it's, it was pretty good and it was pretty tasty. It was like. Uh, some French fries with a good sauce and with a, with the cheese. So yeah, it was actually a good one and burger as well as burger was good and as well as French fries. Hey guys, I'm just gonna finish up my vlog here, my weekend's vlog, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye, peace.
one. I'm not the one to underestimate. I want the throne out on the crush obstruction, rush the bed case, levitate. Got it tatted on me, told them follow me. They see the vision. Now it's 2020, clear as towel lace.